I have just returned from a trip of about 10 days to Amsterdam. 10 days in Amsterdam. My husband and I live in Duluth, Minnesota. And before I went, I made, I did a lot of researching on what to take, what to wear. Now I like to dress, I like to dress well. So anyway, I put a lot of research into, well, what should I pack? And I wanted to get it all in one carry-on. This is the carry-on. This is coming home here. Went to bed last night, did not unpack my suitcase. So here's what was in my suitcase when I got back. Plus, usually coming back is harder because you're not as organized and you stuff things in there. But I found that these little pouches worked really well because they kept everything organized. Um, this was my jewelry pouch and I did not take expensive jewelry. I took cheap costume jewelry for a couple of reasons. One is so that pickpockets won't target you because they'll see that you have cheap jewelry on so they might not think that you have much money. And two, if you do lose something, it's not as upsetting. Um, I happened to lose one cheap earring and it was with this set. This was a set that I really like that looks well on me and I lost the mate to this one. And I know exactly where I lost it. I lost it in the Amsterdam Museum because at one point it did fall off and I found it and put it back on. I should have had one of those things on the back of it. Anyway. And then I had these lightweight um, cowls. My mother had purchased these. These make a nice decoration on your neck. You can use them for um, like a necklace. And then these, um, oh, it's hard to hold a video thing and talk at the same time. This is one of those yarn necklaces. They don't use up very much room either. And I wrote on all my, I wrote little cheat sheets of what's in here so that when I'm looking for something, I can look on the list and see, oh yeah, did I put it in there? And then when I'm leaving again, packing up, seeing, oh yeah, is it in there? So this was a kit that I purchased before we left. And this has, it has a clothesline that you can string up in the bathroom. It's rubber. And then the way it's braided, you don't need clothespins. You can just stick you can just stick the clothes in here and it holds them up. And this was a a stopper so that you can keep water in any sink no matter what kind of a plug it needs. And then I also ordered this. It's a kit with detergent in it and they're sheets. They're kind of like dryer sheets. They, you don't, so they're not liquid, so it doesn't upset the TSA. And I also had little packages, packages of woolite. Okay, so then I kept my makeup in this one, and this was the one that I had all my liquids in. And actually, this is a little disorganized. It was better organized than they were there. I am sorry. There we go. So my husband bought me this expensive, well, it was an anniversary gift. It was this company, Zents. But anyway, I wanted to use it. I didn't know if they would let me or not, but you can still see through that. And then I ended up putting other things in there like this Woolite. And I have a special shampoo I use. and So that worked really well. And you can see here, so... This is what I ended up wearing as a nightgown every night. It's kind of it's a silk shirt. And I just wore that every night. And I washed it out a couple times and silk will dry real fast. And here's another packet. And here's some medication. And so as you see, I have these e-bags. They're like capsules. And this came with the suitcase. It's a Rick Steve suitcase. This uh white and I did put some dirty clothes in there towards the end that I knew I wasn't going to wash and just so I could just stuff them. But see how nice these capsules fit in there? And then you can just lift them out.
And there still was a, there's a room in this one I could have put more in here. And this was my swimming suit. And yes, I did go swimming. I am a swimmer, so that was one of my goals was to go swimming when I was in Amsterdam. And I did find a pool. It was a, built in 1912, and it was a very interesting Art Deco pool. So, this is everything in the Rick Steves suitcase, which is a very nice suitcase. Oh, okay, so it also has these package. Uh, oh, this is where I get messy, where I just started stuffing things in here. I kept, I'm kind of a pack rat, but I kept this Van Gogh bag. And I just kept this because I wanted to maybe put it in my scrapbook. It's a paper bag that I got some fruit in. And let's see here. But this does go, if you, here, I'm sorry. But, okay, this goes all the way down so that you can put like a big book or something. See where my hand is going? There. So, anyway, that's a quick quick uh, example of how I packed my suitcase and I had a lot of fun and I hope it helps you too. Bye bye.